the moths that come up as soon as the rain comes and they flutter all over. They generally stay about one and a half hours. In thousands they come up and after the fluttering about they fall away. And as they fall away slowly their big wings very long wings, they drop out of them and they start crawling about. All their entire life is according to your chronometer, your watch, your concept of time, it is only one and a half hours. In that one and a half hours, they have to be born, grow up, procreate, lay their I mean, um, eggs and die. In fact, they don't die. They become <laughs> live food for the ants. Nature supplies to everybody. Whenever there is a disturbance in society, the looters come. Have you seen them? It's beautiful to see. One of the most beautiful things of human endeavor. Everybody frothing in the mouth. Why? Yeah, I can get that also, this also. And then they break open the shop and then go there and take. And then they can't take one uh, television because there are five televisions. So what about the other four? So they try to take two of them and one of them uh, catching in the mouth. Of Hi, hi. Then when they are coming, they find bottles of whiskey. I give you some whiskey to be taken. These are the, this is the moment when the looter feels like the Hindu lord, I must have four hands. <laughs> their, their various suppressed desires are exploding. And the way they carry it on, why? That they can sell it or they can use it. In the same way, the ants take this and deposit their full of food. Now what I wanted to make you understand is that moths, the entire life cycle is over. According to your watch, it is only one and a half hours, but to him, it is a lifetime. In the same way, in the macrocosmic life, the time is flying so fast that as compared with their a single day, it is to us so slow. It's an ion. Avyaktad Vektaya Sarva Avyaktad from the unmanifest. All Vektam, all manifested world comes out. Prabhavandi Haragami. In the early morning, all of them express themselves as the as the manifest world. Ratriagami, when the night comes, Praliyandi. They all dissolve and disappear. Where? Tatriva. In that very same center. In you. Avyata. That unmanifest. That state called unmanifest. Into the vasana it merges. And as vasana it exists. Next day morning when the equipment is already. All the vasanas manifest in form. This is called creation. Every day you are going through that. Early morning you create your world because from the unmanifest days come to manifestation. And in the night you fold them up and there you are, the deluge. The deluge of your private world, I admit. My world will still be there. Yet you are sleeping, you have folded up your world. That total mind, when it rests, the whole universe rests, dissolves. Take. Thus, it is not that the Creator desired, no, it's not a question of desiring. When you wake up, you wake up. The world is created. Your private world has merged out. Tatrevan avyakta sapnyake that which is called as avyakta the unmanifest 
There they dissolve in the night and early morning they project themselves. Thus the entire world of beings and things, names and forms, the entire pluralistic world, Avasha, helpless, they manifest in the day and become unmanifest. It's the question of the play of your mind. When the mind is folded, the world which is so real, when you are looking through the mind, is no more there. When the mind, when you start again tomorrow morning to look through your mind, your world is there. When I am looking through a colored glasses, I see that color everywhere. When I remove the glasses, there is no color at all. Now the question is, where did the color come from? It can't be the color of the objects outside. It cannot be the color lent by my eyes. But it is the medium through which I was looking. It was colored and therefore everything looked colored. The world of plurality is not in Brahman, the consciousness. But when consciousness is functioning through our mind, we recognize the world of plurality. If a yellow glass, I look, everything yellow. Blue glass, everything blue. This color yellow and blue are not there. It is the misinterpretation or the vehicle through which I am looking at. So one who has folded the mind and gone beyond the mind, he sees the world as it is, not misinterpreted by the mind and your past inhibitions. The past. It is avasha. You are, you and I are helpless. You can't protest against it. This is how we are playing about. Then you say that the worlds came, worlds went. All rhythmically happening. A play of the mind.